okay. much to many people's disappointment. Well, I don't know. You're a bit young for even think about that. Yeah, so, or bucket lists yeah, or yeah, what have yeah. you. Anyway, well, one more race to come. Moment, <laughs> one more race to come. We're going to go back to our to our posse and we'll uh, we'll pick this up in a, in a few moments' time. Heading to the start, and um, it's an interesting race. I think Goodwood Mirage has got a, an excellent chance. Comes out of them a Maputo race at Newmarket, of course. Over uh, ten furlongs and one here at Goodwood, so it does handle the track all right. Uh, the time before, 100 to 30, 100 to 30 retirement plan. Northern meeting fives, it's five Silver Dixie, statutory sevens, 16 is Coolwar Extreme, Ambleside is 16, 25 is King Muro, BJK 25, so is Nile Knight, 33 is Shamahart, Empiris is 33, and 50 is Teolagi. So the final race coming up, just news from the stewards room. Paul Moran picked up a six-day ban for his ride on Movie Star, winning the feature race, and you'll see confirmation of the result at Thirsk Allegra winning the seven to four favourite. Final race coming up, and one horse we haven't touched on yet, Eddie, is Goodwood Mirage, who's a big strapping son of Jeremy. And much like yourself. <laughs> I don't know about Not this. the son of Jeremy part, the, the big yeah, and strapping. Yeah. Well, he's a bit st I'm not really strapping, I'm sort of big and weak. I've been backward all my life. Um, Goodwood Mirage. I, I was surprised when he wasn't favourite, but retirement plans in the ledger, and he's a, uh, quite a talking horse, I believe. He did, did it all right on his his, his, oh, his hat this, this maiden Chris win, but good effort at Newmarket in a more competitive race from Goodwood Mirage. Uh, he's going to do be even better over this furlong further trip, I think. There are a few bookies representatives hanging around who are, are waiting to give us the ledger quote if retirement plan wins. Does have a, a, an entry in the in the St. Ledger seven to two. What did you make of him as a type? I thought he was he was too green really. Still buzzed up and he'll need this experience. He may be well be good enough. Nice bodied son of Munz and they're really tough generally, the, the German bred horses or the, the Munzens. Um, he'll stay well. He, he's already been further than this. He went, it was a mile and a half on it for his maiden win. But his oh, demeanour no, right. suggested all this, ex this is a part of the learning curve and the experience will be needed. Having said all that, he's still a poss possible winner. Silver Dixie, we, we touched on a length in the preliminaries in the paddock. How much more do you think there is to come from him based on his win last time out? Well, I think it's almost in his favour now that he missed three or four months. He was off from March till last month. And now he's, uh, he's, it's been a making of him, really, because he, he learnt a lot from his Windsor run. Won comfortably last time. He's got to go very well. Statutory Northern meeting in... Um, and retirement plan all have a similar profile. Two winners, uh, two runs, all three winners last yeah. time out for the first time in their careers. What did you make of Statutory's win? I thought Statutory was, you know, he, he won, won well enough in the end at, after a battle at Hamilton, and he, he will fight, but I, I think his. Um, his I, I, I always prefer to go for more experienced horses in races on, on trap, difficult tracks like this. But. but he, there could be any amount of improvement in him. Charlie Johnson's just sat behind me. We can just get him to tell us uh, an extra <laughs> line on statutory. He was playing hard to get, but he's finally come over. Cornered me. Uh, what do you make of his chances here? Uh, yeah, he yeah, has a good chance. Um, obviously, a big step up from a maiden at Hamilton to, uh, to a competitive handicap like this. 88 to the handicap has not given us a lot of leeway, but he's unexposed. It could be anything still. What, to what level do you think he can reach? Have you always held him in a high regard? To be honest, we haven't really had him all that long. We've only had him a couple of months. Um, so we're just finding as we go with him, really, to be honest. Uh, best of luck today. You turn it on for the camera as well, Dad. Fingers crossed. <laughs> just like you. <laughs> uh, Ambleside's the next one we're going to talk about at 14 yeah. to 1. He's, he's just gone, Ambleside. He, come back, come and no, talk Charlie, about Ambleside. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. We've, we've, we've called him out. I forgot to ask you about Ambleside, Charlie. How bad of me? Uh, lots of ability, but very, very temperamental. If he put it in, he could run well at a big price, but um, nice to see he's gone in the stalls for a change because he's, he's, had, he's had trouble there as well. So if he puts it in, he could run well, but your guess is as good as mine is whether he will or not. I didn't turn on for the cameras there because I forgot to ask you. You can go now, Charlie. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, I don't think it's a coincidence that Ambleside, probably his best run was when they put the blinkers on for the yeah. first time. Now they've taken the blinkers off for this last run and this run today. Um, I, would have, I would have said something like that if I'd been asked. But, you know, it, 
he's, he's certainly got ability. Coolware Express ran away with a race at Windsor and then won well on his next visit to Windsor, but he's gone up £13 as a result. Uh, Ryan Moore claimed for Sir Michael Stout's Northern, Northern meeting, makes it more makes it harder perhaps, but Dane O'Neill, a good deputy. I can see Niall Knight running a big race here, winner last time out at Epsom, Jimmy Quinn. Uh, on board for Marcus Tregoning, who's looking for his first winner here at Goodwood of the week. Let's uh, hand over to Ian Barlow for the final time. They're off. They race away. A mile and three furlongs is the trip for this Betfred Mobile Lotto. Goodwood Mirage in the red and yellow is dropped in right at the rear of the field as King Muro and Empiricist statutory of the front three as they come to their first right-handed turn. Retirement plan deep on the course going up into a prominent position and then comes racing against the rails Tiolagi from Nile Knight. Tiolagi just uh, a bit short of room there as a couple of them were Ambleside and Northern meeting a slightly hampered. Goodwood Mirage is the back marker. Well back Silver Dixie is one from the rear. So they settle down. On the far side, the green sleeve jacket of King Muro goes on by three or four lengths at this stage. Black colours Empiricist in second place. Pink cap for retirement plan shows in third. Statutory green jacket red cap is running in fourth place. Shamahart a red jacket, a green cap behind this. BJK on the extreme right, yellow colours. Coolwar extreme, light blue, packed away in mid-division and then comes Tiolagi towards the left in the green and yellow colours. Nile Knight is with these and then Ambleside, green jacket, yellow cap. Then Goodwood Mirage passing a few now. Red and yellow colours, Frankie Dottori moving up towards the outside of Northern Meeting, Ryan Moore in a very pale jacket as already they begin their run on towards the home straight and the back marker continues to be Silver Dixie. King Muro, though, been left alone in front. He heads to the home turn. A good five lengths ahead. Retirement plan in second place. Niggled out at this stage. Up on the outside of Empiricist. Statutory is a length and a half behind these. Shamahad is next. And they're followed through by Tiolagi. Goodwood Mirage towards the right. Beginning a move. Northern meeting coming into it as well. Uh, still towards the back is Silver Dixie. King Muro a ridden along to maintain the lead. Here comes retirement plan. Northern meeting coming there. Statutory is there. Goodwood Mirage towards the right, but retirement plan is a fractional leader at the two marker. From Northern meeting the pale jacket and Goodwood Mirage the yellow and red jacket. These three together. Still making progress Silver Dixie. Inside the last furlong. Retirement plan is finding more in front. Goodwood Mirage in second place is two lengths behind him, but it's retirement plan who's lengthened away to win nicely with Tom Queeley. Goodwood Mirage in second. A very tight for three third, Silver Dixie and Ambleside. Retirement plan may have just hit a little bit of a flat spot, but he's finished very well. Four to one winner, and he's earned quotes of 14 to one with Labrooks for the St. Ledger. He held an entry going into this race, and he's taken this competitive handicap to round off the card in, in good and gutsy fashion. Yeah, I think he showed his lack, of, his lack of experience by running around in the lead, drifting to the far rail, which didn't turn out to be a disappointment. But Goodwood Mirage, who has had more experience, was equally uh, wandering under pressure and in the end retirement plans pulled out uh, three four lengths from a well handicapped horse in Goodwood Mirage so good performance uh, he's obviously still got to climb quite a long way from his, his mark of 88 he'll go up eight pounds probably for this uh, high 90s he still needs another 10 pounds of improvement to get in the, uh, the shake up of a race like the St Ledger but this is a really important part of his learning curve he had to overcome a wide draw and contrast here Tom Queeley He's ridden his horse up on the outside to get a position. Frankie de Tori decided to drop uh, Goodwood Mirage from the widest draw of all back into the back of the field. So different tactics and had the similar results in the end because they fought out the, the finish. The second and third are last and second last in the run. Retirement plan sat second, third, one back. Yeah, I'm, I don't want to read too much into that particularly. I think the, uh, I think he's Queely, Queely had to decide whether to drop in or to go forward, and he went forward. And in the end, he's actually not doing a lot of work now. He's just sitting in second, going quite, quite comfortably in behind King Mura. The field have rather let him go clear. So, in a way, he's setting his own gallop. He takes a lead from in, empiricist or shares the. the 
shares the lead? Because if you ignore King Muro, they've just gone a steady gallop once the early positions have been established. What did you make of the run of Northern Meeting, who's around about fourth or fifth last, just on the, the rails in the pale blue colours? Pulled out for a run from the rail early in the straight. Ryan Moore played his cards quite early. I think he's, if he knows the family and, and probably feels that she stays very well. And in the end, she got to the. You know, she she didn't do quite enough to, to be in at the finish. I thought she was going to be involved at one stage, but wasn't. Were you concerned at this stage with the retirement plan? Just being asked to. No, I just think stay I, up I was, there. It was what you expected from his demeanour beforehand. He was green. He's green in the race. He hasn't really been in a super fight before. He's got the better of King Muro, and he got pressed then by statutory. He's seen him off the green colours with the red cap. Then up on the outside came Northern Meeting with a threatening looking run. He, all the meeting might even just headed him for a stride, but he's battled back once he's hit the rail and, and got the lead back off her. Then on the outside, the Tory came on Goodwood Mirage, and he's had enough to draw away. It's impressive because he did, did quite a lot wrong in terms of his experience, but in the end, he's pulled right away for an impressive win. Um, Lord Grimthorpe is next to me. Uh, well done, Teddy. Uh, it was a, a very good performance. And, and now, I suppose, focus must really turn towards the St Ledger. Yeah, I, I mean, they had. I mean, everyone sort of Jane had had it in mind, and Mike uh, that, that he might be that. Obviously, he's by Monson, and they they stay really well. His mother stayed a mile and a quarter nicely. So, um, as a two-year-old, uh, so I, I, I think, and he looks like he wants to be staying. Yeah, the, the further he went there, the, the better yeah, he went. The better he went, yeah, absolutely. He, but he needs, he's still a bit immature. And given a positive ride by Tom Coyley from his draw. Yes, I'm very pleased to see it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been a, a luckless week yeah. so far, so nice yeah. to get on the board. Yeah, no, great, great. We're really happy. Well done. Thanks. Uh, so it's a win in the finale for retirement.